There is a war going on over shoes on D.C. streets. We're talking about young people being beaten up, even killed for the hottest new sneaker. That's right. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford talked with some local students about why this type of crime continues to escalate. They're called Jordans and retros and foam posits. They cost $150 to $250 and are often sold in limited editions, causing scenes like this. And they are such status symbols, as some told us, many D.C. young people just have to have them. Like, oh, yeah, these certain amount of girls going to be on me if I get these shoes. Yeah, I'm going to look sweet in them. So this is a thing you know for your shoes. Yeah. And so you got to keep it up. Yeah. But, yeah, he has been robbed of his shoes. He came out with a gun. And I gave them to him. So a man came out with a gun and yeah. said what? Take them all. Let me get them. Talking with D.C. students, we learned it's a big concern. I know a whole lot of people that got their shoes taken from me. I've been in a fight before over my shoes. And there's one we're not identifying. Yeah, I know a couple of people that had some shoes taken from them. Actually, I took some, I mean. Well, since it slipped out, how? Strong armor. Throw them on the ground. Take your shoes off. Huh? What if they see the shoes the next day? They got to try to get it back. For real? Some people get killed over shoes, some people don't. Some people just let it go. Early last year in Northeast, 19-year-old David Lee Robinson was shot and killed, his shoes taken. It's a big concern for police, particularly school resource officers. I um, also tell them, you know, not to walk in these alleys and take shortcuts. You know? My message is more towards the parents. If you're going to purchase these kind of things for your kids, Realize that sometimes you're making your child a target. But the kids want them, and at Anacostia High, the principal, a former Olympics athlete, understands. Ian Roberts is using a shoe lottery to get students to Saturday school to study for standardized tests. Students who have excellent attendance at Saturday Academy will have their names placed in a hat with the possibility of winning a pair of these shoes that every one of our students wants to have. And he said there's been a 15% increase in students attending Saturdays, though he too is concerned about the crime surrounding the shoes. And students talked about strangers walking up to them and asking their shoe size. You're going to be suspect, like, why are you asking for my shoe size? You feel like you're being threatened. So the shoe game is tough, getting the shoes and keeping them. Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Sam. Now, athletes.